at, at the heart of it, in economic terms, it's really it's a problem of collective action, right? Which is that every individual, like individuals making decisions that are the, the best for them, make co- collectively make decisions that are are not optimal. I mean, in this sense, I mean the problem is that you know if people who are healthy. They look at it and they go, it's not worth it to buy health insurance because I'm healthy, and they don't, and then they decide to buy health insurance once they have a problem. Well, then they have to buy into a health insurance program that is large, a much larger percentage of that of the people in that pool are ill. So, I mean, this is the heart of it, right? I mean, how do we, how do we figure out a way? Is, is single payer really, and, and, and mandatory uh, insurance, is this the only way to really deal with this problem? No, it's not. I mean, I think if mandatory insurance, we're going to have to make it more mandatory. I mean, obviously, healthy people who still find the penalty cheaper are still choosing to pay the penalty. And like you said, the problem is when they get sick, they still need treatment. And sometimes they've let stuff go and it's more expensive. And we don't have a credible commitment. No one in this country wants people to just die on the street. And so we end up paying to treat them later at a higher expense. And so it makes sense to require them to have health insurance the whole time so that they get the care they need before they need it. And then when they're healthy, they kind of subsidize the premiums for, you know, their sick community members. But you could do it another way. I mean, I've heard Republicans talking about high-risk pools. So some states, including Ohio, where I am, had high-risk pools before the Affordable Care Act. And the idea was that we'd pool all the people in the state and they'd have some subsidy for it and it would make premiums cheaper. But either way, you're going to you, either way. This is what happens. You have a high risk pool, so where you subsidize, and thus somebody has to pay either through taxes or something. People who need insurance, and then people who don't have insurance are going to be in that pool later. Or you have to provide an individual mandate, so people are covered the whole time. But you might have to subsidize some of those healthy people to get them to be covered. But just saying, you know, there, it's not going to be cheaper to rely on high risk pools because the money has to come from somewhere. You are listening to an abbreviated version of The Road to Now. For a full-length version of this episode, please visit theroadtonow.com.